I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hey there, RV travel buddies. This is Rob. And this is Sherry. Today is an adventure. We are in search of... A little town called Gateway. Gateway. So this... You know, we're from Central Oregon. And so Sherry's father says... Oh, there's a little town called Gateway you should need to go see. And it's like, we've never heard of it. So we don't even know if it really even exists. So we're going to go see if there really is a little town of Gateway. Hey, it says Gateway, Oregon on my cell phone. All right. So it's over by Madras. So it's about an hour drive from here. So we're going to take you there. So here we go. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. You just saw the little end of trailer end of us driving. That told us that we're in Gateway. So that should give you an indication. This is a really small town, <laughs> <laughs> super small. So we're gonna go back through what little there is here, and there's a little spot in there, and we're hoping to see a little history or something. This used to be an old railroad town and that's all I know about it and it is there is a railroad going through here so hopefully we'll find a little bit more so here we go guys this doesn't happen to me very often but I've never been to a little town that I have found nothing literally nothing no store no merchant store no gas station it is called gateway here and there's a couple of older houses here but that's it we just found the town of Gateway. So, another first here in RV Travel Class. A town of no towns. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. We got some other things to go look at. All right, this is up a hill a little bit. And just thought I'd capture a little bit of what this little town of Gateway is. I'm telling you, we're out in nowhere. And like I said, there's no stores there's no nothing but this is gateway and I don't know any history about it we just thought it'd be interesting to try to find it and uh, let me back up the camera a little bit so you can get the big picture and uh, <laughs> that's it town of gateway well we're gonna go to warm springs and see what else we can find so we're just driving around working our way back from uh, <laughs> gateway to Warm Springs and we're up in farmland here and uh, it's just amazing how you see these mountains um, I think I'm coming up to Mount Jefferson right here and then uh, it's going to sell farmland back here way in the distance um, you should be able to see the three sisters back here, and uh, just real pretty. And just give you an idea where we're at. It's pretty, pretty farmland. And uh, it's out in the middle of nowhere, coming from nowhere, gateway. And uh, just pulled over on the side of the road here. It's all farmland. Anyway. Kind of a neat drive that I show you.
guys, we're at the Warm Springs Indian Reservations um, Museum. It's right behind us here. And hopefully they'll let us film. And I hear it's a really good museum. And uh, we'll see if we can get you in. So we're uh, in the admissions area. It's $7 per adult. There's a senior discount. And uh, it takes about an hour, hour and a half to go through the whole show. They have a, a movie that you start off with and some art and all kinds of stuff. So right now, we're right at the beginning. Let me show you what, what we're seeing. And off we go. So when you first get in here, we get to see a movie. It's about an eight minute movie. This is a theater. We're not quite sure how to make the theater work. And he was watching them. And so he was going to trick them. <laughs> we'll let you know what we learned. So what we found out is there's three tribes. You remember, you knew two of them. The Wasco. The Wasco. The Paiute. Paiute. And, and the Warm Springs. Springs. So we have, they have three chiefs. And that's about all we know about them. Other than the population was uh, about three thousand, something like they that. They said it's now growing. They're up to about three thousand now. Yeah, I thought I was surprised the population was that low. I thought it was higher. But anyway, we'll take you through and see what we can see. Archaeological evidence indicates that indigenous peoples inhabited the Columbia Gorge by at least 10,000 years ago. At the narrowing of Columbia River at Horse Thief Lake, our ancestors lived at the center of commerce in the Northwest. was and still is the occasion for the exchange of gifts between two families. Both Wasco and Warm Springs people have this tradition of wedding trades. A wedding trade sometimes takes place at dawn to greet the new morning. The bride wears a deer tail dress. It is made of an entire tanned deer hide with the tail left on for decoration. The dress is beaded and is hung with thimbles that ring when she walks. The dress is sewn with sinew. Her belt is leather with foam decoration. Her veil is hung with dentalian bells and beads. The groom wears a choker and breastplate, leggings and breech clout. His beaded vest, shoes and gloves are fine examples of beading.
Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist. RV Travel Buddy, which is tips, resources, and services. RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences. RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future. The insane RV360 videos. Our amazing RV.TV, where amazing stories come from RVers. And last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.